Namaste Angels. I'm here to do a personal reading and this one is going to be different yet again. I actually did part of it off camera because part of what the reading is, is just an intuitive connection um, or using my mediumship to connect with the angels and to try to find out a location of a potential mate and or, you know, divine union, you know, quote unquote, twin flame. This person um, was a male that approached me via email saying that they were looking for their twin flame, that he's had an experience more than once where he hears a female voice telling him that she is in fact his twin flame. So he wanted to know where he might find her and right away in talking to him on email before, you know, we even officially set things up for me to do a reading for him. I was saying, I feel that this is somebody that's, you know, in your area. Um, and perhaps somebody, you know, that you may be like overlooking. Well, sure enough, when I went into meditation about him, focusing on him, somebody I don't know from Adam, as they say, um, I don't know. I didn't know where he lived. I didn't know anything about him at all, other than the name he used on his email. Um, connecting to him, I came up with the name of a park in his area. And then subsequently, another neighborhood, I think he said it was. Um, the name I gave him, he said it was a neighborhood near him. So once that happened, I said, well, you know what? Now I want to do the actual reading because I don't even know what I'm looking for. I'm, I'm, I mean, I do, I know in your mind and the purpose of this reading, I'm looking for your twin flame, but I want to make sure that that's who this being is, um, that's connected to the location. So I said, I want to see if I can, if I even get in one of my readings that this is a, you know, divine union, a quote unquote twin flame relationship. So that's what I'm going to do first. Um, a spread telling me um, the connection or potential connection between he and another soul somewhere out there um, around where I, you know, that location that came to my mind. So I'm going to begin with my Tony Carmontiliano Universal Love Oracle. And this card, um, picturing Kuan Yin and her pet dragon, <laughs> uh, about forgiveness. And I think just based on the cards to which I shuffled that this person for whom I'm reading has some childhood issues to address. And regardless of what kind of romantic relationship um, and maybe even relationship in, in general, it could be even with friendships this could be affecting. He, you know, he's gonna have going into the future, he needs to heal something from childhood. Um, so I don't know exactly what yet, but just again, like just based on the cards that I got, that's what it looks like so far, including forgiveness and now opening to retreat and the need for him to do some meditation, perhaps in that park. Um, I came up with, because you, as you can see, this angel appears to be outdoors in nature doing her meditation. Kuan Yin forgiveness, opening to the guardian, indicating that he does have a guardian angel, at least one walking with him. Forgiveness and relationship. Okay, nice. This card, however, according to the author, is about if you haven't had success in relationships, then you first need to work on healing your relationship with yourself, which does, you know, coincide with what I was feeling about this client anyway. Um, however, it, it is one of the cards that I use to indicate romantic relationships when I do my readings too. So I'm happy to see it um, for, for both reasons. Kuan Yin and forgiveness, I'm gonna cut. Is that a feather on my table? <laughs> it looks like a feather in the ashes. I 
Oh, okay. Kwan Yin is back <laughs> with the forgiveness. And the overall energy is healing sounds with this woman who's really gone into surrender. She's completely bare before the universe, right? Down to her essence, no clothes. Like she stripped herself of any inhibitions, anything that would prevent her from connecting with the universe. And she's sitting here under the moonlight. It looks to be like perhaps even in some water, maybe at the beach or something. And appears to be focusing uh, in her healing specifically on the sacral chakra and perhaps crown and third eye, maybe even ear, based on where the light, the rays of light appear to be hitting her. So these may be areas specifically that you would like to work on too. You know what? I usually lay four or five across when I do this kind of spread. And just out of like habit, you know, it wasn't like I was designing a spread. That's just the way it's always been. But right now I'm feeling to do also, not necessarily overall, but what, what you need to know about any kind of relationship you'd be getting into. What do you need to know in order to be able to even be in relationship there? And perhaps this one can be like an outcome. Okay. Love. Okay, wonderful. I'm happy to see this. So there is love out there for you. But first, a lot of healing needs to occur. This is another woman um, here, nude, in full surrender before the universe, allowing it to heal her with these rays of light. It's as if she's, you know, she's gone to the doctor, basically. And this is the treatment. It's radiation, um, but of the kind <laughs> of these uh, rays of light. And I can see the yellow here. So this is like Uriel's light. I can see... Um, like a purplish hue here. This could be Michael. Here's the white light. This could be Christ energy coming down to her. Some orange here could be Ariel. And it does appear to be focused right here on the uh, solar plexus where Ariel would be. And so this is what you need to do. Allow the universe uh, to heal you. I don't know if you're into meditation. I picked, I shuffled... I decided to use my life purpose cards too. And I shuffled them to body work. And I've gotten a lot of different things from this card for different people. Um, you know, tattoos and all kinds of stuff. But it's really about healing. Your life purpose involves body work, such as massage therapy, energy healing, physical therapy or exercise training. And obviously, and actually, um, honestly, exercise training was what came to me first. And then I was saying, but I don't know, I don't feel that it's necessarily, necessarily the need to like lose weight or anything like that. Like that's not the need for the exercise training. It's for the purpose of healing. It's maybe even a, like a yoga or something. If you could get into that, maybe a good form of exercise training for meditation purposes. And so now that coming through very strongly too, that there's a need to, to meditate and to allow for him to ask for uh, healing energy and then to allow for it. Speaking of healing energy, <laughs> I would have done these a lot earlier. Um, these client readings, but I did, I also do healing work and I did some this morning. I had to take a nap before I could come back and do the readings. I had planned in my mind to do the personal readings, to do the weekly readings, just knock everything out. 
And then, you know, very early in the evening, I was like, you know, before I do try to do anybody's reading, I need to lay down because this is not, this wouldn't be fair to do it like this. Uh, anyway, reflection. So this may include looking back on your life. I mean, reflection, I think should be whenever we do it, certainly on looking back, but also on where we are now, you know, how far we've come. And then if we can, you know, look into the future too. But because I feel that there's something, there's an issue from childhood with you, and I don't know what, um, but it's something that, that's, that prevents you from having the relationship, the romantic relationship, and maybe some, again, relationships in general um, that you want, the type that you want on which you need to work. Also, you're being guided to pay better attention to your intuition in this regard. Don't necessarily see anything yet about divine union or twin flame. Um, but we're not done. Ah, okay. <laughs> I said I was putting here and I talked about it because I was feeling something. I'm going to lay a card here. What do you need to know about relationship? And, you know, in order, well, here it is. Boom. Soulmate. Okay. So you've got a soulmate out there. That's the kind of love, um, that awaits you. But again, with this card, golden memories, I'm feeling that there's something from the past of which you need to let go first. That's before this can happen. That has thus far prohibited that from happening. All right, so let me go on to your next spread. Let's get a good look at this one. Soulmate is what you need to know about relationships. I think that's awesome. Um, yeah, there's love awaiting you, but there's healing necessary too. Transience and reflection needed. You also got to pay better attention to your intuition. Okay, with that, I'm going to go to the angel tarot, begin with the six of water, memories from your history or childhood. This is very much connected to that golden memories card, I think, um, and is one of the cards that gave me a sense of this card, like the other ones, not only have I gotten all kinds of different messages from it, um, when I do my readings and stuff, um, but it has different meanings, you know, in accordance with the tarot, um, I got from it for you and it can mean soulmate relationships and past life relationships and things like that. But I got from you, um, something from your childhood memories from your history or childhood, but not just memories. Like there's a, there's an issue there. That's an inhibitor to you. Um, also issues regarding children. This issue regarding children can be you as a child and romanticizing the past, maybe, um, ignoring the parts that have traumatized you essentially, you know, that you're holding on to something, some sort of regret or resentment, um, from these times. And instead, you know, in your mind have made them out to be a little better than they were, um, as a manner of like self healing, you know, we do that so that we can move on. I'm going to the star. Happy times make positive, optimistic, long-term plans. You're on the right path. Somebody may be an air sign, maybe perhaps specifically an Aquarius sun, moon arising in this scenario uh, that's connected to, to you and or any union you may have. The star. Yep. Here comes the air <laughs> and it's the nine of air expecting the worst self-fulfilling prophecies and sleepless nights. That card is about what it looks like and sounds to be manifesting negativity into your own life. Sometimes actual not getting enough rest, not getting enough sleep, um, for whatever reason, um, 
but certainly because you're sitting up, you know, thinking about scenarios that are not doing you well. You know, you're, you're thinking about negativity, um, which is not un something unlike um, at what an air sign would do. You know, we're, we're always thinking about something and it can be something negative like these. Well, what if this is what's going on? What if that? And getting really, really like super anxious. And in that sense, if we're in one of these periods, it's these phases where our thoughts are becoming our reality, um, then what becomes our reality is this negativity. So we want to let things like that go. Also, the seven of air. Plans and revision. More going on the meets the eye and poor timing. For me, this is an energy of joy stealing. Um, this card can be about distrust. Again, for an air sign, it can be something that's in our mind that doesn't really exist, but we feel distrust. We feel um, thievery. You know, we feel people are trying to, people are out to get us. They're trying to steal from us. They're trying to hurt us. They're trying to ruin our lives. They're trying to bring us misery. Misery loves company. They're trying to bring us some and some drama. Um, it can be a very, very real thing. But there are cases, and depending upon like where it would fall in a spread, for example, um, where it's something that we're manifesting ourselves, we're manifesting into our own lives, not unlike what the nine of air suggests. Seven of air. I'll go one more. It's the ten of air. The end of a difficult situation. Embrace the change and expect things to get better now. Somebody may even be recovering from an addiction. And an addiction, while it very well can be, does not have to be um, a connection to some sort of substance or something, you know, on which you're dependent. This can be any person, place, or thing. And it can be a combination. So, you know, somebody connected to the union can be uh, an alcoholic and be living in a toxic situation, you know, a bad marriage or something, um, you know, both of which need to come to an end in order to move forward. This card indicates, yes, those type of things coming to an end. And it's also about, um, to get back to that seven of air and maybe even the nine of air, it's also about betrayal. And a feeling of having been like backstabbed, like stabbed in the back. And the actual tarot, the traditional tarot, the right away, the what's depicted on the card is this man laying face down on the ground with ten daggers in his back, uh, ten swords in his back. So it really looks like the ten of swords. And it is, is very much so a card of pain and betrayal and attached again to the seven of air and the nine of air um, could very well be what's going on here. That there's a sense, a feeling of having been backstabbed and, and, that, and therefore um, maybe now as a result being distrustful of um, people, different circumstances and things like that. Maybe love, like I don't, I don't trust people to love me um, you know, the way that I will love them or the way that I feel that I'm deserving of being loved and, and things like that. Or maybe at all. I don't trust anybody to love me at all because my past experiences, that's not what's happened. Um, that's what the Ten of Air and Seven of Air together would say to me. Seven of Air. So summary, basically, thus far, I see you um, perhaps harboring some sort of trust issues from childhood. However, you will get past those. And victory is, you know, on the mile, as they say, within the mile. Good news is on its way. Also, public recognition and awards can come with this.
The overall energy is the emperor with Archangel Michael. Organization and logic, structure and discipline. Also leadership. Somebody may be a fire sign, sun, moon, or rising. Aries, specifically. Or Sagittarius, Leo. I'm going to do what you can do for yourself. What kind of energy is surrounding you? What spirit wants you to know? And then maybe the similar to what I just did, two cards about what you need to know with respect to re romantic relationships specifically. I'll do that. Down here is what the universe, God, wants you to know. This is specifically what Archangel Michael would like you to know. And this is what you need to know about relationships in order to go forward. The lovers with Archangel Raphael, intimate relationships, carefully weigh your decisions, good health. Again, somebody may be an air sign, perhaps specifically Gemini, but it can be an Aquarius or Libra as well. This also coming through reflective of you need to make the decision to allow for love and to allow yourself to be loved. You have to make that decision with regard to love. What else can you do for yourself? Knight of Air. Knight of Air is intelligent, decisive, idealistic, and tireless. Events that occur with great speed. Take time to carefully review your options so you can come up with creative solutions. So here's two cards back to back that talk about weighing your options and decisions um, rather than rushing to judgment, maybe. So what you can do is avoid sort of that rush to judgment that can also come with being an air sign. Um, is a night of air, like the lovers, is a Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra, or somebody taking on those traits or energies, behaviors. What else can you do for yourself? Put down some of the burdens. Lay down some of your burdens. Too much work. Accept help from others. Life is out of balance, and that causes stress-related health concerns. This can be another reason why I was feeling the need for you to exercise. Again, not necessarily having anything to do with weight, but having to do with healing. Um, healing stress levels comes into play with working working on, uh, with, on ourselves. Um, as far as exercising, blood pressure, pulse rate, all of these things coming into play, um, helping us to minimize and reduce our stress. We, we let out a lot of you know, endorphins and things and release a lot of this stress uh, when we exercise too, as opposed to what some of us has done. I've, I've done it myself in my past instead, like, you know, rather harboring this stuff. I'm an air sign, so maybe that's why harboring some of this stuff and then in, instead it results in things like cortisol um, and you know unsightly fat in difficult places you know from which to get rid of um, so you don't want that either although all those kinds of stress related health concerns can come with with this so the need to be mindful um, and to lay down your burdens because the ten of fire is about being burdened and or feeling burdensome upon somebody else uh, what kind of th things surrounding you right now the energy of the world it's a very very karmic energy where the universe steps in to ease us out of a situation um, so that it can ease us into a new one a job well done joy contentment and gratitude in the path toward enlightenment more importantly it's also a three which to me is always indicative of or, or often indicative of another energy likely a person um, that's involved 
um, in a situation. I call it parties of three. They're not necessarily romantic. It can be any kind of third energy, third party energy that's impactful upon and typically negatively upon the um, one's ability to move forward in love and in life and upon the union in a union that exists. Also surrounding you, the page of earth, who is scholarly, dependable, patient, and successful. Good news about financial matters, wanting to do something more challenging in a new area of study. I did feel school for you too as I was shuffling. Um, so that can be a reason for this. The page of earth or the court cards in general for me also are reflective of actual people. Uh, and so there may be an earth sign, sun, moon, or rising involved here as well. Virgo. Taurus, Capricorn. This card is also about what it says it is. And maybe that's one of the situations you're being out, eased out of. A situation of financial and material lack. Um, you're being eased out of that and instead toward the page of earth, which brings news. Pages always bring news. This one brings news about uh, incoming material abundance. What does God want you to know? The nine of water, similar, very similar to the star. Um, it's the nine, it's the minor arcana's version of the star. It's a big resounding yes from the universe. Uh, your wishes are coming true. Your concerns are fading away, a love of life and sort of mirroring the 10 of fire. Again, this is an indication of you being able to put down your burdens. Maybe that's something for which you've been asking. It's being granted. This is a prayers answered card. What else does God want you to know? The four of fire. Contentment, peace, and abundance are to be yours. Also a happy home life and the successful completion of a project. So if you've been having concerns about um, a home life, that coming true to like those, so that situation being eased, um, sitting here next to the nine of water. If you've had some concerns about your living situation, it, whatever, anything, this, this card shows up, um, to say peace and abundance are forthcoming to you and sitting here crossing the page of earth. It's another, this could be part of the news, the material news that the page of earth brings to say, yes, you know, abundance is definitely forthcoming to you. Um, and that's something that you didn't know, maybe. Spirit wants you to know now. What else? The king of water. Trustworthy, compassionate, respected, and cultured is the king of water. Open your heart and mind to those around you. Trustworthy and heartfelt advice and charity work, which is love. And this card, an indication that a water sign. I think we've been through all of the elements now, right? Because I did I see... Yes. We had... Um, the overall energy of the emperor, that's the fire. We've had the lovers and the star and the night of air. That's the air. The page of earth is another person likely, um, or it could be the same person, but you know, sun, moon, or rising signs we have involved. And now the king of water, who is a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. Uh, these cards also possibly coming through because I'm doing your reading. It's right now. It's 2.38 in the morning as I turn and look at my um, clock. So 11.11. The day is actually in 11.11 as well. 6.24.1.2017 is represented by a 1. It equals 1. 6.24.1 1 equals 4, which is 11.11 as is sort of like depicted on this card here. Um, and on that day, on this day, the 24th of June, we have in the sky, Pluto, which rules the sign of Scorpio and Venus, which is a ruler of Gemini coming together in a very favorable conjunction in the sky. So this can also be here too, because it's a, it's the perfect recipe for love. So right now it can be. Today can be a very, you know, important day for you. I'm not saying today's the day you'll meet somebody, 
um, and it'll work out, but that's a possibility too. But today can certainly be a day that you move past um, a hump and toward this peace and abundance. What does Archangel Michael specifically want you to know and what's here at the heart of the matter? The eight of earth. Skilled work is rewarded. Also learning all there is to know about a topic and going back to school. So first off, I got to say, here's another mention of school. I was already feeling school for you. And it sits here next to the page of earth, which can also be about school. So I think that there may be a vocation or something. It doesn't have to be a physical school. Um... You know, you can do something online. You can go for some sort of certification. This, these cards also come through for me, sometimes like the school of hard knocks, the school of life, school of experience. That's not necessarily what's coming through now. I'm feeling something that you actually want to learn something new, maybe a trade or something. Archangel Michael sends this card through to say, um, all the effort that you've been putting into any areas of your life and that you will continue to, um, they will pay off. That's what this card is. And what do we need to know specifically about love here or relationships? Boom! <laughs> the two of water, a relationship that continues to grow closer, forgiveness and the positive resolution of a conflict. So um, this would certainly be reflective of a very loving relationship that awaits you. Um, anything the two of two of cups basically sitting in here next to the lovers, especially very loving relationship. Maybe the relationship of your dreams, of your wishes finally coming to you now that's going to bring you this peace uh, and abundance in all areas of your life. Maybe with a king of water, just because it's a king doesn't mean it's not a female. This can certainly be a female. And, you know, they may be one of these very, um, watery signs, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, um, and very, loving and or emotional. Um, what else do you need to know? Boom. Family life, emo complete emotional fulfillment is what you need to know about relationships, a contented and rewarding family life. Your emotional and material needs are met. Trustworthy relationships. Beautiful. So last I'm going to do, um, Similar to this one, a love spread a re with the relationship, um, the romance angels, rather. <laughs> I was going to say the re relationship angels. Beginning with playfulness, which is also a very Gemini card to me, uh, similar to the lovers, because Geminis, um, like some of the other mutable signs, tend to be very, you know, youthful, um, like forever. <laughs> um, we capture this playfulness as opposed to maybe a Scorpio, Who's, which is a mature sign and may be more, I don't want to say uptight, but I guess that's a good word to, to use um, for lack of a better one right now. So you want to keep things lighthearted and playful, not be like so overly serious all the time. To capture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. And opening to passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. passion and soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So another indication that you do indeed have one out there, not necessarily again, a twin flame, um, but a soulmate relationship awaiting you passion. But you first need to let go of control issues and allow this situation to unfold naturally. Let go of control. It's other one more. There are religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So this can be any ideologies, um, belief systems, practices, you know, that you sort of feel stuck with. There's a need to let go of those as well, right along with the control issues. Any sort of like socially based thoughts, like not thinking for yourself, you otherwise do some things differently were it not for society's, you know, sentiments on a particular situation or circumstance in your life. Um, coming to true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. So this is what awaits you as well.
flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. So I started with a card of the, you know, reflecting the need to keep things lighthearted uh, and flirty. And we're ending with one as well as your overall energy. What can you do for yourself? Going on around you. Does God want you to know? What specifically does Archangel Michael, our emperor here, want you to know? And what specifically might you need to know about relationships? Or your impending relationship? Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So this may be one of the areas in which you need to let go of control issues. You can't rush this. It's, it needs to unfold. It's, it's happening and you need to allow it to happen. Because we can actually block it by, you know, getting in, standing in our own way. You've ever heard that expression. What else can you do for yourself? Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Sitting here atop the night, the night of air, I think this is about communicating with people and meeting new people in general. Um, and that will <laughs> essentially um, aid you in meeting this person with whom you um, may share a life thereafter. Here atop the ten of fire. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. This is another reason uh, for which you need to lay down your burdens so that you can free yourself up to do that, to explore what's, around, what's going on around you. Here atop the world, express your love and crossing that night of fire. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So since you don't know to whom to make it, I think, again, this is about being um, communicative and friendly and meeting new people, being social in general. And maybe that's something that you're like a bag you've got to step out of. Maybe that's part of what the, the world energy. Um, because again, this is the, the universe bringing you out of a circumstance, a situation in your life and towards a new one. So maybe you, you were hesitant to be more social before and now you're um, guided to do that. Here atop the page of Earth. Surrounding you, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So, as I was saying, this could be somebody even that you know. Um, and then maybe it's somebody, and, and I, I think I use those words specifically. Like I said, this is somebody, what I'm feeling right now, before we even really had any real, any talks or anything, what I'm feeling right now already as I speak to you, as I type this email, is that, this is somebody you never looked at in that way. Like you never would have otherwise considered in that way. That's what this card means as well. They may differ from that usual type. What does God want you to know? Here atop the nine of water. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So this is that very much like that 10 of air. It's an indication, not necessarily of a substance, but it can be that too. There's a person, place, or thing, or a combination of a few um, that are standing in your way that, of which you need to let go. And if you ask um, the universe for help with letting go, that will be granted to you. Here atop the four of fire, give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. Four of fire um, can certainly be about commitment. So if you have commitment issues, maybe going along with the trust issues that you brought with you from childhood, um, work on letting those go again, perhaps in meditation, yoga, some sort of exercise, releasing endorphins, all that kind of stuff. Um, here atop the king of water reconciliation. So the person on its way to you on their way to you again, and this is mirroring the worth waiting for and divine timing is that work in your love life. So you just have to allow this to happen, allow them to make their way to you or you to make their way to them, your way to them or both meet somewhere in the middle. Someone from your past, however, like a past life is returning to your life and specifically from Archangel Michael. Here atop the eight of earth, unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So there may be someone, and you might say, but there is like, no, I'm not with anybody. You know that, 
but they again you could be bringing stuff from not only um your past but past lives and i think there's someone especially sitting here crossing this 10 of fire um and maybe this someone is specifically an earth or a fire sign. Especially with an overall energy of the emperor. Um, because I've had for months now this kind of overbearing um, energy of a fire sign coming through to a lot of us. Uh, often I felt Aries. Um, Aries. Leo in particular, not necessarily Sagittarius. When I pick this up, also um, upright, same direction, is that seven of air. Okay, so this is the, the distrust maybe attached to this emperor and to this unrequited love. So there could be somebody, an actual person um, in your life that you need to let go, or at least of their memory, the trauma that came with them, the resentment, the um, regret that is attached to them, let that go. What do you need to know here about love and about the two of water calling in your soulmate? Boom! Again, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. And atop the ten of water, which can be attached for this purpose to your own family, um, you know, your the family with which you grew up or people you consider family, close friends or whatever, um, for which you may be living and or loving that you now instead need to love yourself first. Your, your self-respect makes you romantically attractive. So this is going to help you to move forward. Similar to that relationship card that I pulled in the first spread. And I said, it's about improving first the relationship you have with yourself. Okay. With that, we'll do additional advice. I'll put it here. They're showing me all these cards here. Family. So I was just talking about that. Loving your friends and family is central to your life purpose. Yes, but again, love yourself first. Say the angels. And there's support for you. Your life purpose fully supports you. Not just your life purpose, but your life. And again, I was beginning with body work, um, which if we want to take it literally, and I think it is, it is to be taken literally in your case, uh, is about massage therapy, energy healing, physical therapy, or exercise training. And opening to flowers, working with flowers opens your heart and brings blessings to others through your life purpose. This is coming through to me as um, not necessarily flowers, but more so herbs and kind of specifically tea. That may be something that helps you too, like drinking like an herbal tea that may help you with... Um, feeling less stressed, maybe like, um, oh, what's that tea? Like chamomile or something like that would be good for you. Um, an opening to trust. I talked about trust issues. And I just held that seven of air up again. Trust coming through to you now. Trust your feelings and dreams to guide you um, through your career path, but not just your career path. It's about trust in general for you um, and your life. These are just, these are my life purpose cards. They talk about career path, but I'm using them, um, you know, in a more general sense. And opening on to strength. Everything you've experienced in your life has made you strong and courageous. So whatever this thing is, even um, from your childhood um, or past life situation, even that has strengthened you. Like what, what um, you know, doesn't kill you, make you strong, makes you stronger sort of thing. Strength back in the cut. infinite abundance. You're fully supported as you devote yourself to your divine life purpose. So this we've seen indication of abundance being on its way here with the four of fire, uh, the eight of earth as your reward and the page of earth here notifying us that abundance is coming. Another indication from the angels that that, that is true. And it could be abundance of love as well. Overall energy here is support. Your life purpose fully supports you.
And lastly, beginning with open relationship from what I call my hashtag creepy deck and brunette female. And this may be a past relationship that didn't work out, that was maybe controlling. And maybe that's why you're having difficulty moving on now. Ice King is also very, that overbearing Aries and uh, Leo and maybe even King of Air, like some sort of um, air sign too, maybe, perhaps. <laughs> um, like overbearing in your life, maybe a, a father situation. Getting back to what was coming through about family, your own family, maybe something having to do with your father or some sort of authority figure is an obstacle to you or has been. Open relationship is back as your overall energy. Okay, advice from here, destiny. Um, so like the, what's going on with you right now, it's a, like a karmic situation. Basically we can't, you know, we just have to allow it to unfold again with the worth waiting for. This person that, we're, that you're seeking or that may come to you, uh, somebody that feels very good about themselves. If, uh, they, maybe they are, actually are extremely attractive, um, this person too. That's what Beauty Queen um, is coming through as. From here, Earth Connection, you need to get back out into nature. Um, again, maybe you should do your meditation outside. It, there's a need to connect with Mother Earth in order to move forward. And to embrace your whole self. This card looks like it's two people hugging, but it's really one person's uh, inner feminine and masculine coming into balance and them embracing them whole, their whole selves. Um, and that's what you need to work on too. Spiritual teacher. You heal with classes, sessions, and seminars. This can be something for you to actually do yourself in the future, or this can be the need, uh, indicative of the need to, of you for you to seek a spiritual teacher, perhaps not unlike myself, you know, this can be about the reading that we're doing right now. Um, saying, yes, you made the right choice. Freedom is also something, um, you're, you need to be aware that you're free to do what you choose. So when I was talking about the religious factors before and saying we may have been, you know, we may feel stuck by some ideology or something with which we were raised, um, you know, social norms and all that kind of stuff. Just ignore all that, drop all that and do what you want to do. Again, love and live for you first. And that's also more attractive. Ace of Earth who, like the page, um, is a Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus, or and or the energy of abundance coming your way, the inflow of abundance in a promising business venture, important documents or contracts may be signed, maybe for a job, um, some sort of opportunity for you to learn a new skill or continue to develop your skills working under somebody else, or maybe school papers you're signing, um, or something having to do with a home, like your wish coming through true with the home and that peace and abundance for you. Um, aces are always about new starts too. Also the five of water. This is about counting your blessings and making sure that you recognize and notice the good in everything. This month is a very much about that too. In the Hebrew calendar, the month of Tammuz is very about the two, very much so about the two kinds of good. The good that's just good and the good that's born of bad, basically, um, that there's a negative situation. We can always find the good in it. Things turn, not turning out the way you'd hope, not seeing the positive in a situation and crying over spilled milk. I call this the, oh, woe is me card. And from the romance angels, attraction, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So the energy that we put out is the energy that is returned to us. That's the way the law of attraction works. The romance angels want you to keep that in mind going forward. And lastly, make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. And what you're guided to take um, is 
this exercising, working on meditation, maybe clearing some of these blocks, maybe looking into some healing work. I'm not trying to sell you mine, but I do offer it. Um, and I, in the past, I, similar to how I don't like advertise or I haven't, hadn't advertised really my readings. Uh, this is not something that I have previously advertised either. So it, it's not um, my style or way to try to sell anybody anything. Um, but it's something for me that's been born out of the seven of air that I've dealt with in my life and in my experience um, doing these readings, the people that want to um, steal from me, sort of like how the uh, like like one asshole ruins it for everybody so now i have to you know be more professional <laughs> um as opposed to maybe just friendly and i have to you know get my website in order and actually post what i do and you know charge people for it and, and that kind of stuff so as part of that, I guess I'm telling you now, or I'm telling whoever watches this video, yes, there are healings that I do. There's three different kinds of healings um, that I provide to people. And I've helped people. Um, those of you who watch me know that I've seen in the cards um, different people going to the hospital and for different reasons. And some, a lot of you have responded to me. Yes, you know, I was in the hospital. My mother was in the hospital. My father was in the hospital, whatever I said at a particular time. If I said the, a male was going, your dad was in the hospital. If I said a female was going, you yourself were, or, you know, for the women or their mom was and stuff like that. Well, in addition to that, some of them have also come to me and asked me to uh, send them different uh, healing energies. And in some cases, we went ahead and did one of my actual healing um, procedures. And again, there are three. Um, so we can talk about that if you like or not, if you don't. And either way, it's fine. Um, I hope you find this reading helpful <laughs> uh, in moving forward with your life. And I wish you the best. Namaste, Angel.